Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. Today I have a bunch of goodies added to my stash from a recent craft haul after the holidays. All right, so we will start with some distressings. I've said before I'm building my collection, so I splurged with some Christmas money. So aged mahogany I got, but this pad's a little dry. Actually, it's quite dry. So they replaced it with that one. Weathered wood. Evergreen bough, pine needles, crushed olive. I actually got a lot of the greens and browns. Gathered twigs, forest moss, pumice stone, fired brick, mustard seed, frayed burlap, and brushed corduroy. So that added to my collection immensely. I'll slide those out of the way. Then we got um, an Amazon haul. So I started out with these rusty jingle bells. They're a little bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I can't use them on cards. If I can't open the bag, I can't use them at all. <laughs> there we go. But it came with a bag of rusty stars as well. Which I think are great. But they're definitely rusty. And then the bells are a good size, but again, they'll be more for home decor than they will be for card making, but they're super cool. Love them both. So there's that. And I had mentioned that I wanted to start making charms, so I got a few things to that end. I got just a variety of, variety of safety pins. Make sure I open it from the right side. I don't want them to go flying. You can see they're from tiny, kind of average, and then these bigger ones too. So we'll see how I can use those. And then I got some jump rings and the little pliers to help with that. Oh, and I also got some pliers from Joann's recently. Oh, you know what? Here. I'm not so worried about keeping this cello bag, so I'll just cut it. But yeah, a variety of jump rings. Silver and gold, different sizes. There's like some lobster, ta lobster claw and like some tweezers right there as well. Nice. Nice, nice little instructions on how to provide care and maintenance to that, to this guy. Come on. It doesn't want to come out. Like, what is, oh, I'm, I'm pinching it. <laughs> Not sure what this is for. I know that I'll figure it out, though. But yeah, I think that's going to be fun for my charm making as well as these. I got some different things here, some other claws or clips. They're the bulb pins. They came in a variety of colors. So there's the real tarnished silver, regular silver, super bright gold, black, and then kind of that um, bronzy, but I really like them. That's a nice variety. Whereas these are all in silver, and then the jump rings are only silver and gold. These have a nice variety. I'm excited about those. I actually used one on a project already. And then these are a bunch of different charms. They are not what was pictured, but I'm not mad about them. So they're mostly cogs and wheels. 
And if I wasn't one that liked skeletons and things, I might be disappointed because I thought I was getting something very different. But luckily I do like them. This one might be my favorite. Sorry. So I had a silver one too. Come on, girl. Aren't they cool? Really, really like those. And then these pins. They're not actual pins, but they're just in that shape. And there's pretty much two of everything. Two of the silver. See this? See how different the hands are? This one's flat. This one's got some dimension. So there's two of those, two of those, two of those. The music note is really cool with that down there. And it just says music, music, music on it. And then there's all of these cogs and wheels. That one's kind of cool with little... Well, they look like hearts to me. Maybe that's not what they're intended to be. This one's kind of cool. has a different backing on it. Yeah, they're all just a little bit different. Also from Amazon, I got these tiny little wooden snowflakes. They are wood, but they have that rusty color. I think they're super cute. I thought I had some hearts somewhere too, but if I do, they have not surfaced. And I love laces, and especially this kind of ecru or tea dyed color. I'm actually going to dye some of them either in tea or coffee, or I might even use ink. But I really, really like these more thin ones. Yeah, those are my favorite, are the thin ones. Here's the same one in white. But you can dye them. You just have to try different mediums and see how the, see how the lace takes it. That one's kind of fun, too. Here's another thin white one. And then these are both really thin, too. Whoop. But I'm liking those. I guess it's kind of an ecru, isn't it? Because it's not really cream or off-white. Anyway, lots of lace. And then this one is burlap ribbon. And I thought these were really fun for a variety of different things. So let me see, which one's my favorite? Let's look at this one. I really like that. I don't have a plan for it yet, but it can be used in all kinds of things. It can be the, the rope for a banner. It can be just used in small pieces on a project. It can be um, like on a, can be a border on a project. It can be a separation between two different types of paper or two different types of medium. It can just be added to like to a mixed media project, just as a piece of collage, any number of things. So excited about those two. And then Joann's. I got two of these Tim Holtz sets. This one is the Happy Easter Hippity Hoppity. I love the bunny and I love that you can make him a hipster. And then of course the half stencil is the buffalo plaid and half is the polka dot and they are two of my favorite motifs. I 
love 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 a buffalo plaid i guess it's it's less of a buff buffalo plaid than it might be some type of a tartan right because it does have these extra extra bits and the this one has extra too buffalo plaid would just be the bigger checks buffalo plaid is very much like a gingham but it's on a larger scale and then this one some collage type stamps the butterfly with words and graphics on the back side and then this pretty i don't i don't know what flower that is y'all if you know tell me it's like on the tip of my tongue ranunculus is that a ranunculus for those who know and then of course i love this one too with the pluses and this the pluses in a in a circle very kind of graphic i love it love it love it and then christmas was on clearance so as much as i don't need ribbons i had to pick some up <laughs> had to so these two of course are in green and then these reds this one looks pretty Christmassy, but these two I felt could be used for just about anything. Same with these, especially this. I love a buffalo plaid slash gingham, really do. So there's those. I have these are from Impression Obsession. And I don't know if you can see how dang cute these guys are. I had to get them, especially this little guy. Are you kidding me? Can I open the clamshell? There he is. I don't know how well you can see him. But oh my goodness. Cute, cute, cute. Of course, you just peel that off of the red rubber. And then it will stick to your Misty. But they're pretty good size. It's almost four inches by, by about two and three quarters. These are from MFT. I have really, really, really been wanting this high. I think it's great. It's huge. It's about three and a half ish by just over two. It's big. And then I got this text stamp as well. It's typewritten and it's called typewriter text. That's going to be really cool. I, I love a text background. It took me a while to get on that on that bus, but I do. And then I got a couple more tag dice. I'm loving tags. You guys know that. thought this little scalloped edge was fun. <clears throat> so you can layer them. And I love the idea of kind of a square or rectangle die. It's just called Trendy. And this is a pocket die. Fold up tags. So lots of options there. A little scalloped and a, and a banner. Rounded corners. Different toppers. Really cute. Excited about those. I know you can't tell it in my voice. I'm just tired, but I'm excited about all of it. And from Spellbinders, I've been wanting these two sets from Vicky Papiano for a while now. Um, I don't even know when these were released. Was it last year or the year before? So this one is, I don't know the name of it. Oh, Build a Winter Birdhouse. But look how cute that is. And then this one is Build a Spring Birdhouse. Very, very cute. And then the ampersand. If you don't know, the ampersand is um, very close to my heart. And I'm not going to go into that now. But anytime I see it, I want it. I, I doubt that I will stitch. But that's an option. And then, of course, the ampersand was the small die of the month from Spellbinders this month. I don't know if I'll keep going with the small die of the month. But I had to have this one. And, of course, there's... Lots of little options here. You can build flowers, greenery, the whole nine. You can layer it. Very, very nice. I decided some of my Artezas are drying out and they you don't replace the nibs with them and you can only buy them in sets of four. The same color sets of four. So I thought, well, what are my other options? So I decided to try out some Olos. Olos. I just went with some sets of things that I, I know I use often. I, I love the oranges, pinks, corally, Tones, and that's exactly what these is these are is the coral tones and so, then my glue guns are just little little tiny cheapos and they have served me well over the years excuse me but I thought I wanted to try something new so I got this Zyron and of course I have to 
finish unboxing it later, but I love that you can add all the glue sticks in there and it fills it for you, kind of drops it down in. So I'm excited about that. Excited. You can hear them rolling around in there. Wonder how many came with it. Oh, quite a few. I don't know if y'all can see that. All those glue sticks came with the gun. Instructions, of course. So excited about that. And then, of course, last but never least, this calls for confetti. Okay. So, Lisa has a lot of new things in her shop right now. I got these cute little love letters. Thought those were super cute. And then she has a lot of these pearl mixes. I actually meant to get much more than this. I just forgot to put them in my cart. I clicked on them and didn't put them in my cart. <laughs> but this one is called Chocolate Berries. It's really pretty. And then she has acetate sheets. So I really wanted to try these. They're a great size. But I also wanted to see um, if they're heat embossable or not. So, and there's quite a few in there. I don't know how many, but it looks like a lot. And it's pretty heavy duty. It's, it's much thicker than, than some of the other acetate I have. I have no idea the thickness, how many mils, but it's really good. And then I have some of the other kits that essentially have dies to cut out the exact size hole that you need for the, I guess it's called a low profile shaker pouch. So it has the inside and the in, inside and the outside and it fits perfectly. So I think that's amazing that she came up with that. So I have a circle and I have a square. I did not have the rectangle. So wanted to give these a try. I actually haven't made a shaker card in a minute, but that will be perfect for that to slide through. And then of course, this is the bigger one. So there's those. And then she came out with a heart one for Valentine's Day. Let me move these, sorry. Same thing, but with a heart. And of course, you can use hearts all year long, right? Just like I was saying that um, polar bears and snowmen and things aren't only for Christmas. They, they're around, well, the animals are around all year, but the snowmen maybe not so much, depending on where you live. But the same idea, you've got the larger heart and the smaller heart to go either around the inside or the outside of the heart. And then this one uses the same die, but it's in the shape of an envelope. It's actually embossed. The envelope shape is embossed into the pouch. How cute is that? You can kind of see. See that embossing on there? That's really cool. And again, it doesn't have to be for love notes, but very cool. Very cool. Guys, I am so, so excited about all of this. I know you couldn't hear the excitement in my voice. Life has been really real. And yeah, just, just things have been kind of hard. But I am excited and I am eager to get back in my craft room. And I will be bringing you all kinds of videos to share. Um, I'm going to have one video just focusing on those Olos, but let me know what else you might like to see. There's a lot to choose from. <laughs> As always, guys, I love you so much. I truly, truly do. And I thank you for spending your time with me today. You could be anywhere, but you're here with me. And that means the world to me. So thank you very much. I'll list downstairs as much as I can. And until the next time, guys, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy. Mwah! I'm out.